Hi guys, this is going to be a tutorial on how to capture a chip. Fingers crossed, hopefully. What I'm going to do straight away is I'm uh, just going to get rid of my sidekick that looks like it's sunk. I'm just going to engage that one. So I will just get him to retreat. So I'm just going to change the uh, ammunition to chain, just to slow him down. I could have done that before, but I was too busy faffing around. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to have it on the uh, chain, uh, just to keep him in the battle, slow him down, hopefully. I do mess my snow because I can do where uh, I can shoot off the bow on that one, which is good. So hopefully he uh, won't jump out. I'm keeping it on sailing on the bottom down here because that just gives them a, a little bit of a boost on the sailing. Quick turn now, see if I can just get his sails. Bit high. Oh. Did I get him? Yeah, it's at 99%. So that was a good shot. There you go, I'm just pressing space bar here. Just keep him in the battle. I think if you leave him for too long, I think they can jump. So that's all I'm going to do, just kind of take his sails down and uh, then just. So he's got 23 uh, crew, so I'm just going to try and blast that down a bit as well. The idea is I'm not going to uh, try and take his shields down because if I do, especially on the uh, on the sides, they'll start sinking for some strange reason. If I t if I try and capture the ship, if I board it, it'll just sink. So it's best to the only way to do it is if you if you uh, take out his uh, stern. You can do that and he doesn't flood, but you can flood it any other way. So. But it's such a small target to it. I mean, it's not too bad if you've got like bow chasers on, and you can just, like, as he's chasing them, you can just like take out the back end. It's a bit more different when you're uh, sailing one of these smaller ships. Have another go. Oh yeah, hitting that one. Good. Not with that one, but look close. No, that one didn't hit. Did that one hit? Getting close. I think that one did. Yeah. Okay, you can zoom in with the left shift anyway to have a look. Like I say, if you do it with the traders, they can't shoot back at you anyway, unless the bigger ones. They, you know, like the snow has, I think, four on the on the stern, but they're at the sides. Uh, I think the brig has two stern chasers so they can take sh uh, shots at you. 
but the smaller ones I haven't got any so it's an easy one to uh, to show you on famous last words and all that See if I can get a bit more speed up. That's going to be less speed, isn't it? I'll show you about the skipper manual and uh, automatic at a later stage because I'm not sure about it 100% myself. You can change it uh, manually by pressing the QE and the ZC keys, which are really difficult. On the bigger ships, it's it's better. Too high. Oh, they all missed. Quick look, make sure there's no French jumped in. What you can do as well, if you double tap left and right, like if I double tap left, it'll just keep it locked on left, double tap right, keeps it locked on right, which can be handy, especially when you're just like going in circles. So I don't think I can fly, I mean fly, sail down that way because I'll be uh, straight into the wind so I might actually end up losing out. Let's have a quick look, see if I can do it. Can't go too far up. That was close. That was a good shot. Too bad that. The thing about this game is it's it's not high pressure game, so it's not like no quick quick panic. I mean, some of it's a bit strange, and but generally you don't get too worked up about it. I do get a bit frustrated sometimes, like when you're aiming them like that, and you'll see sometimes they're just the waves are just getting in the way, and you just. But sometimes you're lucky and the waves will save you, so it's just swings and roundabouts for that. Good seamanship. There we go, I might do that again. Close. Nearly. It's got to be close. Oh, yeah, maybe. And again. Oh, nearly. About that one. Did it take a bit out? Oh, yes. Looking good. I think the idea is to take them down to about 50%. I think they've got to be going at least three knots uh, before you can try and board them.
I was playing last night and I actually got boarded myself. <laughs> I was like, all right, didn't expect that would. I was lucky I got away with nine crew left. That was a bit funny though. Shooting today. Oh, that's a bit wild. Famous last words. I'll try and do. I'll try and get closer to him now. I find it's the hardest place to hit on the stern, but I'll have a go. I'll just change my. Uh, I'm on the left side to ball. Because it's such a small target, I find it's really, really difficult to hit. Especially if you do like uh, a full volley. It's just, I end up splashing loads of them miles away. You're lucky if you get a hit on it sometimes. Let's have another go at the sails. While we we'll work his way towards it. shooting as you see it there uh, the shot that I did then it hit the mast you can actually take down the mast as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and change it to ball for that one you just got to be really accurate with the ball obviously These are all different methods you can use anyway. I mean, I think you can go right up next to them and just blast them with a grape shot on some ships and just wipe them out, especially if you've got a bigger ship. Here we go, let's have a look. See if we can uh, hit his stern. That took his stern down. Can't see his stern look, so it makes it harder. Now he's got no stern left. Keep on it in it. See the wave there? It frustrates you. <laughs> so there you go. That 21 crew. Let me have a go at his mast. While I'm here, we've got battle sails, pressing B. It's had it in that last. Oh, I got it there. And you have to do it several times. I'm going to change to gunnery just to speed my gunners up. So I could probably do with a grape shot here. Yeah, that would be handy. And just... Uh, more chance of wiping out his crew. But right into the wind, look. Oh, just stop dead, look. Going backwards. <laughs> Going backwards. No! That's a fail. Tell you what, while we're doing that, I'm going to change that one. Uh, now I'll change my left one to grape. I'll get him on the way back. A quick check on there, make sure nobody's jumped in. Got to, got to keep an eye on that because sometimes they jump in and sneak up behind you. Sure. 
Sales down at 55 though. Let's see if we can't rake his back end. Take some of that crew down. That smoke's really difficult as well sometimes to see through. Do too bad there. Look, down 11, 11 crew. Ooh. I was kind of doing it blind because of the smook. It's a good tactic to have this as well if you can stay behind them. If you can stay on the stern, especially on the bigger ships. They find it harder, they'll turn a lot slower. I'll eat his side there, I didn't really want to eat his side. I'll just keep on doing this. I'll try and demast him. Weather's picking up a bit. I'll tell you what, it would be good though if there's like really stormy weather where it's really, really high winds, like 30 foot waves and stuff, that'd be awesome. Try to fight in that. Have a look. You go look down to eight. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta blast it like that. It takes too long for it to re reload. Just got back, back, back to battles. Back to battle sales. I mean, I could strip his crew down this way, but I'm just gonna try and have a go at demasking so you can see what that's like. Good habit to keep on uh, scrolling out like that, zooming out and having a look around you. Because if you're in bigger battles, I guarantee you, you're just going to go into the path of somebody or somebody's just going to cut across you and you're just not going to see them until they're hitting you. I've done it myself. On, <laughs> it's like, crunch, crunch, what's that? And it's like one of your friends or something, one of your fleet ramming into you. It's like, oh, awesome. All missed. All missed. You see, all I'm splashing behind. Bit too high there, I think. Panic me. <laughs> Panic too much. No! I could probably go in there now and take it out. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll save it for boarding. Because I'll be doing it soon enough anyway. So what that body preparation does, like I say, it gives you like, once it goes up to 100, it gives you 100% uh, preparation. If you saw in my last, uh, oh no, I wanted my last video actually. Uh, yeah, I'll show you anyway when it comes on. Missing blindly with those. Yeah, you need to be careful as well. If you're jumping at somebody else's battle and join them, if you're not part of their group, you won't get any rewards 
for any of the killer or like that. So it's just something to make a note of. That's just such hard to hit. Might be easier if I was just at the side of it. But where's the fun in that? Eh? Definitely hit it, but no good. I think it was only that first one when it actually did any damage. My first shot. There you go, look. It's demastered him a lot. About 40% of his sales now. And you can really do some damage if you go and cut across his front end. Well, let's go next to him now because I think he might have slowed down. G, press G, and pull them in. Press G again, because obviously time's got out. There we go. They got away with it. It does that sometimes. Gives you a time limit, and then. So what I'm going to do is try and get them into the to the wind, and then they won't be moving anywhere. I'm still trying to hit that that mast. Too far away. I thought I'd got his second mask down then. Could be close to it, surely. Snap that off. G. There you go. So this is the uh, battle. Uh, if you hover over these, I tell you how much it's going to cost you. Preparation. That preparation was that there that we built up to 100. So I'm going to do fire deck guns first. I found that that does most damage. Normally six, three to six. That does about three. That does three ish. You just take it in turns, obviously he picks what he's going to do, and you pick what you're going to do, and there you go. This is going to be a really quick one because I'll probably kill him here. There you go. So what you can do now, as you can see, it says at the bottom, battle over, press escape. So what we do is press escape. 
I could capture the chip ship if I wanted to, but there's no reason for me to take over it. If I wanted to, I'd just press X. So leave the battle. Yes. There you go now on this screen. So that's my reward for taking him out. Look. So I can put these in my cargo hold like that. I can't take them all though. It's devastating. So you're gonna have to split them. There we go. Unfortunately, they're gonna lose. But not much you can do about that. On, on this one, you could uh, you can see take command, jump straight in it, send it to Admiral T, send it to Outpost, or sync it. Um, I'm going to send it to Outpost because that's where it needs to go. So I'm just going to send it to there. And then when it gets back there, I can do some more with it. I think if you send it to Admiral T, you, you might get some money. I don't know. I've never done it. I've never done it. Or you might just be donating it to the, the cause. Uh, so, yeah, that's it, basically. That is capturing a ship. As you can see, we've got the fair log, so we'll be able to take them back to uh, our port and do some awesome crafting. Right guys, well I hope that's helped you somewhat a little bit in uh, capturing a ship. So thanks for watching and if you've got any comments or suggestions, by all means leave them below and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later guys.